There's something wrong with the TV. It's all messed up. I wonder what that means. Or what could it mean? It could be over in a couple of hours. You know something. I'm sure this will turn out to be a big nothing. We'll look back on this one day and laugh, I guarantee you. I think that ship is heading towards us. Oh. What? What, what? What does that mean? We shouldn't speculate. Haven't you been picking up on what's going on out there? I don't want to panic over nothing. I don't think this is nothing. Okay, intriguing Jake Hamilton, the new apocalyptic thriller, Leave the World Behind, starts streaming on Netflix this Friday. And Jake had the chance to chat with the all-star cast, including two legendary actors. Yeah, I love, love, love this movie. I'm really curious to hear Ooh, what you think intriguing. of it. So, uh, Julia Roberts and Ethan Hawke star as a married couple uh, whose family is renting an Airbnb. When all of a sudden, one day, they hear a knock at the door, and the home's owners show up and say... Yeah, something's going on in the world, and we need to come back and stay here because it's not safe out there. Now, I was really excited to talk with Julia Roberts and Ethan Hawke in the same room paired together, not just because they're great in this amazing movie, but because they've been great actors for a long time. And really, if you think about it, they each got started in Hollywood around the same time. In fact, we're about to approach the anniversary of two of the first big movies of their entire careers. Next year is a big year for, for both of you as, as fans of both of your filmographies. It's the 35th anniversary of both Steel Magnolias and Dead Poets Society. Wow. And I was just wondering if you could... Well done, just, I, yeah. Isn't that great? I was wondering if you could just take me back to what you remember most about that year, those films, but also like the first time you started noticing and hearing about each other's work. Well, I do remember very distinctly going to see Dead Poet Society, and I remember it was when I was in Los Angeles filming Pretty Woman and going to see it and thinking, wow, like, who are all these people? I mean, it is one of those rare movies that everyone in it is so very good and everyone has their moment of really standing out. In the students, you probably have the most moments of standing out and kind of being able to do something that really shines as that character. Um, I loved that movie, yeah. I, I have a funny answer to that question, which I'm sure I've told you this, but, so after Dead Poets Society, Dead Poets Society was produced by Disney, and they sent me to do a dog picture called White Fang. So I was out in Alaska for six months. I'm 18 years old, in the middle of nowhere. And it was hard. It was old school, six-month shoot. And to cheer me up, the Disney executives sent a print of their new movie, Pretty Woman. To Haines, Alaska, that they sh the movie theater was closed in the winter, you, you know, and boom, they put on a print, and I was impressed. And by myself, I was by myself, so I think I watched the movie three times. You have you know? never told me that story. I haven't told you that story. No. It, it, it's, it's burned in my memory <laughs> of just going, all right, let's, let's run it again tomorrow night. Can we do it on Sunday afternoon, too? <laughs> that, uh, in the pantheon of lines that are shouted at you by fans across the street, how often do you guys get Drink the Juice, Shelby? Shelby, you need some juice. You need some juice. Or Carpe Diem. The Latin term for that sentiment is Carpe Diem. Oh, those are not even in the top five for me. Really? No. No, it's, it's, um, I get, I'm just a girl. I'm also just a girl. Standing in front of a boy. Asking him to love her. Mm -hmm. And I get, um, big mistake, huge. You work on commission, right? Uh, yes. Big mistake. Big, huge. Jake! People always yell at me, that's what they, Jake, where's the money, Jake? Jake! I need my money! And weirdly enough, they shout that at me too, but it's just yeah. because my name's Jake and I owe them money. <laughs> We're gonna have more from Julia Roberts and Ethan Hawke coming up in the next hour of Good Day That's Chicago. Fun. Leave the World Behind starts streaming on Netflix on Friday. Big mistake. Big mistake. Huge. Huge. <laughs> um, do people not know Drink the Juice? Am I the only one who knows Drink the Juice show? Yeah, I don't know Drink the Juice. No, Drink the Juice. Juice. What's, what's it Terrence, from? from Steel Magnolias? Uh, from, I, I know drink. Steel Magnolias, yeah. but I don't know. That would not be one. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe, maybe because my. Uh, Grandma used to say that, like, you know, to like, like drink, to, like, the yeah, juice? drink, drink the drink, drink the juice, Shelby. <laughs> no, no one, no Do you one, remember that no, one, still Mike Magnolia. Kaplan? Mike I Kaplan? remember that, but drink the juice, Shelby. Shelby. That, that would not be my, you know, go-to no. Julia Roberts line. I, I think that the Pretty Woman one is good, but.